So here it is, this just happened. I wasn't looking for a 75 AMC Hornet. It came to me a day ago. A buddy of mine, Frazier, basically sent me a text and said, hey, do you know anyone that might be interested in my 75 AMC Hornet? I said, send us a couple of photos. Believe it or not, five minutes later, I was on my way to his house and put a deal together on the car within an hour. So there it is, 75 AMC Hornet. I'm back in the American car game. It has the original 304 V8 motor. It has the original owner's manual, the original owner's ID card, and the original bill of sale. Plus it has 147 horsepower. It's a three-speed automatic, and it's got an awesome patina. And believe it or not, that is the original color. So all we gotta do now is get in it and go for a drive and make some memorable moments. So here we are in the 75 AMC a car that I didn't know I actually needed or wanted, but I'm actually having a lot of fun in it. Picked it up a few hours ago, taking it for its first nighttime drive, taking in the sights of downtown, City Hall, my favorite Disney center. <laughs> drive past the broad, see the big lights. Big city lights, big city nights. I do like that place abroad. Looking forward to that opening back up. They do have some awesome art in there and it's free. So what more can you ask for than that? Let's see what else we can find here in downtown LA on a Sunday night. Snap, crackle and pop on the Aston. We can't really compete with that. Because as you know, we got 147 horsepower. I guess I'm not the only one out having fun. Taking in the size. Looks like they've repaved uh, Grand, the infamous low Grand below. Bunker Hill, Angeles Flight, the tallest building on the west coast. And now we're just heading down the hill. It's amazing how hilly it is here in LA. This will be the first test of the brakes. Possibly the one weak link so far to the car, for me, is the brake pedal feel. But hey, just something to put on the list and something to take care of. So no trip downtown is complete without a drive up Broadway checking out all the old movie theaters just taking in the sights another brake check here on 8th oh baby H very cinematic so it's like stepping back in time Everything's antiquated in this car. It squeaks, it rattles, it smells of gas, it smells of oil, it smells of plastic, it smells of the 70s. And you know what? I'm starting to love it. In a weird way, it reminds me of my 69 Super V I owned back in the day. I had a lot of fun times in that car. You know, in its current configuration, it's not the fastest car on the road, but it's got a lot of character. It's got a lot of soul. It's got a lot of patina. It's got a lot of heart and it's going to be super interesting to see how this car develops right now i kind of feel like i'm just cruising and you know what i'm okay with that <laughs> that's 147 horsepower from the 304 cubic inch v8 should take city hall in Hard not to do a drive past City Hall and film that, so take a slight detour here. Vibriana's Cathedral. MTA Transit Building, looking pretty dark. City Hall ahead to the left. 
looking pretty awesome at night, so you know we're going to take a little drive past that. LA City Hall completed in 1928, over 855,000 square feet of building and featured in many iconic LA movies. It's a true landmark. <laughs> One of my favorite parts of downtown LA is actually Bunker Hill, the streets of Grand and Hope. You've got the Dorothy Chandler building, you've got the Disney Center, you've got one of my favorites, the Department of Water and Power building, built in 1965, modern international style, 17 stories tall, and you also have Grand Park, which leads down from these steps all the way down to City Hall. But there's the 1965 Department of Water and Power building in all its glory. Okay, there it is, LA City Hall. Okay, here we are cruising through little Tokyo. This used to be super sleepy, like 10, 15 years ago. Now it's kind of bopping, especially on the weekend. Good place to get food, walkable to the Arts District. All right, now we've crossed over Alameda into the Arts District. And we'll keep on cruising onto the east side. Looks like these uh, the pedal power boys are out. Pit stopping at the Verst. So if you guys like uh, dogs, beer, and Belgian fries, that's the place to be any night of the week. So as you can hear, the car's got a few rattles and squeaks. We've swapped over the seats. We're working on uh, nailing down some of these little things we've got to change, but enjoying the drive so far, having an awesome time. So here I'm about to turn onto First Street Bridge. That is the westbound light rail east side extension of the Gold Line train heading into Union Station. That car goes all the way into East LA but ends up actually in Pasadena. So here we are coming into the Arts District, heading west on the First Street Bridge. So, stay tuned for the bonus footage of Roger Moore playing James Bond in The Man with the Golden Gun, doing a pretty epic jump in an AMC Hornet. Stay tuned, it's coming up real soon. Before. Neither have I, actually. 